Hi, welcome back. My name is Julia and today I want to talk about the books that I'm going to read for a non-fiction November challenge. This is a challenge or rather an initiative that is organized by the uh, fellow YouTuber a Book Olive and uh, she um, actually checked her out. I will uh, leave the link down below uh, to her channel and uh, uh, she recommends so many wonderful books and she mainly reads um, non-fiction just like me. So I decided, well, I think November is a wonderful time uh, when it's already chill outside, we're not gonna travel much. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, uh, it's an opportunity to finally like close my gestalt and read some of the books that I was meaning to read for a long time already. One of the goals of this challenge is to read a little bit more non-fiction that you would usually do. And um, since I belong to the category of people who mainly and primarily read non-fictional books, I decided that, yeah, it's a great chance just for me to stay in my comfort zone. Um, but also maybe try some non-fiction that um, I would usually never read. Olive from a book Olive channel suggested four keywords, uh, she called it challenges, and uh, if you want you can like choose the books that are associated with those words or maybe connected to these keywords in any way. Uh, she uh, also posted her suggestions for uh, the non-fiction November, so you can go check that out. So the, the four keywords are record, element, border, and secret. So for the for first word, a, a record, I decided to go with like um, record as in journalism, go on record, or maybe record uh, somebody's um, actions. And uh, for uh, this word, I selected a book by Peter Pomerantsev that is called Nothing is True and Everything is Possible. Uh, I ordered already, but it hasn't arrived yet. Um, but here's the cover of the book. Uh, so basically, Peter Pomerantsev uh, was born in Kiev at that time was a, a Soviet Union, uh, Ukrainian Republic. And uh, uh, he worked at some time at the major uh, state channels in, in Moscow. And he basically knows how this whole kitchen of Russian media works. And um, uh, I expect to learn more about uh, how propaganda works and how it is basically cooked there uh, on this, uh, well, what we call media in Russia. So yeah, I would love to learn more about that. Um, and this is my uh, book for the record challenge. So the next word uh, of the challenge is element. And for the element, I chose the book A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking. This book needs no introduction, obviously. And uh, I thought it is associated with the element. Well, at least for me, it's because, you know, in our universe, there are so many elements, uh, chemical elements as well. But <laughs> yeah, I think it's just uh, time for us to learn more about those elements, at least on the surface. So yeah, I'd love to take uh, that one as an element. Another book for the same word element I picked uh, is Illness as Metaphor by Susan Zontag. Um, I think that it's um, <laughs> connected to elements because again, like the chemistry of our um, biology of uh, illness and sickness can affect our uh, maybe mental state, our social uh, structures, and I would love uh, to learn more about Susan Zontag and take on that. Another book that I think fits to this category is Eroticism by Georges Bataille. Again, it's a very important element of our life, and uh, this is like philosophical intake and historical intake on uh, how eroticism and sex is perceived in different cultures throughout the history. So yeah, I would love to learn more about that. And this is um, another element book. But yeah, and now let's move to the border challenge. For borders, uh, just as Olive suggested, I uh, want to pick up a book about the Ukrainian history, and I chose the gates of Europe, a history of Ukraine 
by Sergei Plochin. Uh, so, of course, you can pick any book that is associated to you with borders, not uh, maybe necessarily geographical borders, maybe, I don't know, psychological borders or whatever, but um, just because all have suggested uh, to read maybe uh, a book about Ukrainian history, like it's one of her recommendations, I thought, yeah, <laughs> I should do that. Like, why I didn't do that? Why I haven't done it earlier? And so, yeah, uh, just for you to know, I already started... Um, uh, I'm reading it already like a week, but actually I didn't progress much uh, because I, unfortunately I didn't have time, but I hope I'll finish it in November and it will be counted as my nonfiction uh, November book. Another book that I consider pretty much about the borders or uh, fit very well to this category is A History of Korea by Kyung Moon Hwang. Uh, so again, I purchased the book a long time ago. I already started, but I just can't find time to finish it. And I think that this month I should achieve it. And the last category is Secret. And for the secret category, I have just two books, and one is, well, I took the challenge quite literally, and I chose the book that is titled Word by Word, The Secret Life of Dictionaries by Cora Stamper. Uh, this book was recommended to me uh, on the podcast. I am a big fan of Away With Words podcast, and... Uh, um, there they recommended this book. I don't remember the context, but yes, uh, I found that book there. I already have an audio book, uh, but actually I ordered a physical one uh, just also to have it and to share with you like the real hard copy when I finish reading it. Um, so yeah, and last but not least, the same category, the secret category is the book The Whole Picture by Alice Proctor. Yeah, I think that museums keep so many secrets, so I think it's time for us to uncover them. And I hope that this book might help me. So this is the whole list of the books that I'm going to read for a nonfiction November, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any other suggestions and recommendations, or maybe you want to share your plans for a nonfiction November, please let me know in the comments. Um, I really hope that I will manage to read all of them, maybe even more, maybe also like some fictional books, because it's been a while since I actually like sat and read a book and um, I uh, enjoyed it. Like <laughs> the last one was probably this twenty-four hour uh, marathon, uh, readathon that I shared with you. Uh, maybe I'm actually gonna do that again. Maybe even twice this month because I really have a lot of t uh, a lot of books to read. So yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for being with me. Um, once again, leave your comments, share with share the books that you liked and enjoyed, and go into read for nonfiction November in my comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.